Yo, T. Where have you been? I got here as soon as I could, bro. Oh, man, Louise Gracie. Louise Gracie. What about Gracie? They got Gracie. She's gone. Evan's dead. Hell, Gracie. Fuck Evan. Who's got Gracie? I, I don't know. What are you talking about, bro? Where is she? I, I, some guy's at war with her father, I guess. I don't know. Hey, Gracie's pretty tough. She's a princess. She's a tough princess. Oh, they fucking hurt her. Yeah, they'll have you, me, and my family to deal with. You never liked her. You never did. You never liked anyone. That's not true. I like her. No, you didn't. She's my favorite go -Kor. Oh, and what makes you so good, huh? If it wasn't for me, you'd be selling dime bags in a street corner. I made you. Yeah, and she and Evan made you into a junkie, okay? I mean, she's not a bad person. Okay, she's not a murdering, greedy psychopath like me. She's so hard. You know, if you can get past the accent, okay? But she made you into a useless old queen to act out on blowing pills to notice his business is going to shit. Oh, here we go, huh? Here we fucking go, huh? Oh, I see it in your eyes. You're embarrassing me. You see me and think, oh, this is it. This is the moment to put me down. This is the moment when the apprentice takes over, huh? Oh, man. You think I'm done? You're not so fucking tough, Louise. And you're not so smart, you dumb junkie. Well, fuck. Yeah, fuck you, Louise. Oh, come on, Tony. Chill out. Oh. Or, no, you're right. You're right. You're not the one with the problem. I am. Tony, what the fuck are you doing? No, I'm holding you back. I see that now. I see that now. You're the closest thing I've had to a son. I'm sorry, Luis. I love you. Tony. Goodbye. Tony, c come on, man. Goodbye. I love you. Shit. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> ah. Ah. What the fuck is wrong with you, uh. you dumb prick? Huh? Get up. Get up so I can kill you myself! Get up! Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I just couldn't take it anymore. Uh, Come on. Get up. Uh, Get up, you old bastard. Oh. Huh? Let's, go, let's go find Gracie, okay? Okay. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, Louise. The Ancelotti's said I should use their chopper. It's at the heliport on top of the entrance of the boot tunnel. What are we gonna do with a chopper? What do you think we're doing on this Audi? We're looking for Gracie. You got any ideas where we might start doing that? It's a big city, though. I may be semi-suicidal, but I'm not completely stupid, Luis. You ain't even semi-suicidal, T. You're just overdramatic. I wouldn't be surprised if that gun was just a movie prop. We've been in enough shit recently for me to carry something a little bit more dangerous than a prop gun. You think you'd know enough of all the shit we've been in to take the safety off our gun before you use it? Fair point. I'll get a post-it note for the next time. Disengage before a suicide attempt. Self-indulgent cry for help, Louis. Okay. I need your help, Luis. You're all I've got left. You happy now? I said it. Well done. You win, jackass. Okay, bro. Where are we looking for this girl? There's some lowlifes and dukes who might be involved. Losers even by current mob standards, which is saying something. You from dukes, ain't you? I try to forget about that. Okay, so we head over there and do what? Land on the roof and ask them where they got Gracie? We just got to follow them, see if they take us anywhere interesting. Okay, bro. Let's hope for the best. Who knows what they could have done to that girl? She could be dead at the bottom of the West River now. Or she could be driving some son of a bitch kidnapper crazy. I wouldn't waste that nasal whining voice on the worst guy out there. Gracie's got my backing over some chump hook from Dukes. You're right, that could be the smart bet. Her old man said something interesting to me, by the way. Oh yeah? What'd he say? That he's blaming us for this whole thing. Either we get her back, or we're dead. That's definitely interesting. How the fuck did he get that in his head? I barely know the girl. Here's the Ancelotti chopper. Let's not screw it up as well. Come on, hurry up! No, good picture! Good picture, my ass! I told you, don't focus on the hair! And you got a big bald spot in this! Focus on the ponytail! So, this isn't about Gracie? It's about saving our own asses? Yes, this is a purely selfish act! Are you happy now? Yeah, strangely I am! Now that I've realized I'm being blackmailed into doing this, it's become a lot clearer! Great! How are we gonna get out of this, Tom? What? All this shit piling down on top of us! How are we gonna get up? Have we got a plan? I don't know. We could play the lottery, start a little Ponzi scheme, buy some cheap diamonds and try to sell them at a profit. Oh wait, we've tried that, and it's not going so well. Fair enough. You could marry a billionaire. That might get us out of our problems. 
Oh yeah, I've already been picked off once, T. And I nearly got killed because of it. I'm serious, Lou. Most of the girls in the city have fallen in love with you at least once. How come you can't manage to find a rich one? That's the house, up there. That red car is leaving. Follow it. Going, you idiot. That's why we're following. Okay, all right. But which way do you think he's heading? West. I can see he's going west. Where west? There's a lot of shit west of Dukes. Could be Algonquin. Could head all the way over to Alden. He might not be going west at all. He might be heading over to the East Borough Bridge so he can get himself up to Bowhead. Fuck. Might just be heading down the block for a slice of pie. Shit. Okay, okay. I take your point. If you see him stopping, let me know. You'll see him stopping too, bro. You ain't going to sleep on me, are you? You think I can go to sleep in a moment like this? Why? You ain't got your pills? No, I don't actually. I didn't even take an anti-anxiety, and you know how I feel about flying. You'll throw a guy out of chopper, but you won't go for a riding one? You should have shared your anti-anxiety pills with the celebrinator. No amount of pills would prepare you for that. Don't fuck with the Thorny Prince Empire, baby. That's what's up. Public relations at its finest. If we could throw every fucking blogger out of chopper, bro, keep them fools in line. We could start an outsourcing company. We'd be rich overnight. Strangely enough, that's exactly what we need to be. Stop driving suspiciously, Lou. He'll get wise to us. Get wise? What are we, in some gumshoe novel now? I'm driving as unsuspiciously as you can when your boss only forked out for a weekend helicopter course. If he's getting wise, it's because you're a tight ass. You being anti-Semitic now? Nice. Next you'll call me a fag. Oh, yeah. Play the minority part. Very clever. He's cutting back on himself. I thought he was heading west. Well, now he's heading east. We won't lose him, man. We're cool. Come on, you dumb dukes fuck. Take us to her. You yell loud enough, he might just hear you. Maybe if we concentrate hard enough, we can will him to go there. I thought you got over that spiritual shit when you stopped dating the yoga instructor. There are things that stick with you forever. Like the fact that he could get his ankles around his ears and he ate a lot of bunk beans. That image is gonna stick with you. Jesus. Where are these guys from? Other than Dukes, I mean. They're an Irish operation headed by this maniac called Gerald McCreary. He's doing time in Alderney State. Irish like those guys who robbed our bank? They could be the same ones that held me hostage. Stranger things have happened. What would they need a mob boss's daughter for when they got all the bank's money? How the fuck do I know? I guess greed is a powerful motivator. I got an idea. Great. What is it? We stop that bus car, we rig his balls to the battery. By the time he smells them cooking, we'll know exactly where Gracie's at. This is a great bit of improvisation, Lou, but I think we should just follow him. He's going into the tunnel. We're fucked. He's only got two exits, T. He should come right out over by where we picked up the chopper. Or he could hijack some other car, and we'll be sitting here waiting for him with our dicks in our hands. Hey, my dick's in my pants, not my hand, T. And it's staying there. Let's just wait to see if he comes out. They got Gracie? Something to do with that pink piece of shit car she had. They think the guy pretended he wanted to buy it. She should have got suspicious the second anyone expressed interest in that thing. Actually, wait, I can see you driving a pink car, T. Why? Because people call me gay, Tony? In that case, you probably think I've got massive sculptures of cocks in my apartment as well. Gay guys love that shit, you cliche-loving moron. There was that one marble thing you bought. That was art. Yeah, giant, veiny, penis-shaped art. At least you made a profit on it. Those were the days. Where's he going? What's he doing in the parking lot? What's he been doing driving anyway? We give him a moment and call it in if it feels weird. Okay, okay. Why does everything feel weird to me? Because you owe money to half the city, and the other half wants you dead. Paranoia is advising our situation. That's him, isn't it? He better fucking take us back to Gracie now. It's somewhere, at least. What street is that? I don't know Alden any well, bro, but I think the big one's Sacramento. Call it in. Let's head back to the helipad. Okay, 
You gonna call him? I'm texting. Look at you, bro. What? Down with the kids. You work in the business, Lou. You should know that club promoters are the first to make... Okay, man. Let me know if they find Gracie. I hope for our sake they do. See you soon, partner. Hey. Yeah, so, uh, anyway, a friend of mine in here tells me that a close friend of yours, go you've been spending a lot of time with recently, swept to clean off her feet. Okay. Yeah, her old boyfriend wants her back. They always do. Desperately and quickly, and he's looking for her. I think you and her should go out on a glamorous date in Algonquin. Show her a new pad. Then, things will be okay between you two. But move your fucking ass, pal. Women don't like a chump, you get me? You're moving up over at the bowling street. I'm off in the cab of this car, I'm not. After last time, she can ride in the trunk. Fair enough. Ah, it just bit me. I think she has something to say. Motherfuckers, when my daddy finds you, he's gonna kill you. He's gonna kill everybody you've Get ever you around Thanks a lot. Cryptic Furious Emo Riz. This Guido bitch for you. Where is she anymore? In the trunk. She don't play too nice up front. Crazy, crazy. Act nice now. You motherfuckers, I'll rip your cocks off. She's a wild one. I'll try to calm her down. See you later, Nico. 